Georgia is on the brink of implementing a new law granting powers to a commission tasked with disciplining and removing prosecutors, pending Governor Brian Kemp's approval. This move could have significant implications for Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and her ongoing prosecution of former President Donald Trump. The Georgia State House voted in favor of Senate Bill 332, which seeks to establish the Prosecuting Attorney's Qualifications Commission. Governor Kemp, a Republican, has signaled his intention to sign the bill into law, potentially reshaping the oversight of district attorneys. Previous attempts to establish the commission were hindered by legal hurdles, including the state Supreme Court's refusal to approve rules governing its operations. Proponents of the bill argue that it aims to hold prosecutors accountable for misconduct and ensure transparency in their actions. However, the latest version of the bill removes this requirement, paving the way for the commission's establishment. Joseph Goulet commented about the bill, saying, Once this bill's passed, this commission will be able to begin its real work, which is bringing accountability to those rogue prosecuting attorneys who abuse their office, sexually harass their employees, and do not show up for work. Critics express concerns that the commission could limit prosecutors' discretion by requiring them to evaluate each case individually, rather than making decisions based on broader considerations. House Democratic Whip Sam Park condemned the bill as a partisan attempt to control and discipline prosecutors who hand down decisions that Republican politicians do not like. He added, it will be used to undermine the ongoing criminal prosecution of twice-impeached President Donald Trump. While Republicans refute claims that the bill targets Willis directly, Democrats perceive it as an attempt to undermine her prosecution of Trump. Republicans accuse Democrats of ignoring previous incidents where prosecutor misconduct was evident, including the case of Ahmaud Arbery's murder near Brunswick, where even Democrats had encouraged similar oversight. Highlighting the point, Auburn Republican and House Majority Leader Chuck F. Strachan said, It shocks me that there has been such a distortion of this issue by Democrats that has obscured the truth here. Democrats criticize the lack of oversight for the newly proposed commission, highlighting potential risks of abuse. Stacey Evans raised concerns about the body and even labeled it an oversight commission with no oversight. Simultaneously, the state Senate has initiated a special investigative committee to probe allegations against Willis, including claims of impropriety regarding the employment of special prosecutor Nathan Wade. Both Willis and Wade face scrutiny over their relationship, which Willis has confirmed to be romantic. Republican House Speaker John Burns expressed support for the Oversight Commission as a more appropriate mechanism for addressing allegations against Willis compared to the Senate's special committee. Georgia's legislative efforts reflect broader trends among Republicans nationwide to exert control over prosecutors perceived as too progressive. As you leave the page, kindly hit the like bell and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so as yet. Thank you for watching.